Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's word. God is speaking. Today, I want to go to a few, few verses of scripture that if we can just focus on who we are and focus on where we're from, um, this would determine our actions and how we walk as people of God. And we need to have some understanding. Um, even as we read scripture over and over, sometimes we don't get it. We don't take it and internalize it and really take the word and allow it to soak in and penetrate our hearts. I want to look at some verses of scripture um, beginning in John 15, 19. And Jesus is speaking and simply says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. I wanted to start here because I want us to realize that as believers, children of God, we have been called out of the world. Yes, we are living in the world. We are here on assignment. We have purposes here. Um, but we are not of the world. We are here in it, but not of it. And this should um, have some effect on how we walk. This should, um, you know, have... Uh, some effect on the way we act, the way we talk, the way we treat people. Because when we look around and see the things that the world is doing, we're not supposed to uh, conform to the ways of this world. We're not supposed to become like. We are supposed to come out from. I know that, you know, for um, for us having grew, grown up in the world, being born into the world, there are things that we've learned of the world. But when we have been chosen out, pulled out, taken out spiritually, then our mind changes and our life changes. So that means that we then realize really where we're from, that we've been adopted into God's family, that we are looking to things above and not on earth. And we're not focused on the things here because this is no longer our true residence. Our citizenship is in heaven. And so Jesus says, if we were of the world, then the world would love us. Listen, the only way that the world is loving believers is if we're living like the world. But if we are living according to kingdom principles, if we are living according to God's standards, his morals, his word, his commands, then the world will hate us. He says, because you are not of the world, I've chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you. The world is supposed to hate us. When the world loves us, we have compromised too much of God's word. When you look in Romans 12, 2, when it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Clearly, we're not supposed to be conformed to the ways of this world. Remember, Jesus says, you're not of it. I chose you out of it. So now don't conform to it. So now there should be a shift and a change. And so Jesus says, you know, um, he tells us when he's praying in John 17, which is um, his prayer to God. And he's praying about himself, about the church, believers, disciples. Um, and he says in uh, verse, um, I actually want to look at verses you see 14 and 16 and 14 he says he's talking to God I have given them your word and the world has hated them because they're not of the world even as I am not of the world in verse 16 he says they are not of the world even as I am not of the world remember we are positioned in Christ we are supposed to abide in him we're supposed to live in him remain in him continue in him and he is not of this world and so we are not of this world. We have to remember, you know, oftentimes, I, you know, as uh, just because we're in the surroundings of, because we're in the midst of the world, it's so easy to blend in and think that everything is okay from, you know, things that we're watching on TV, conversations that we have, places that we go, things we participate in, things that we agree to, uh, decisions that we make, things that people chase after, seek after, monetary, material things, focused on God's stuff and not God. And so then we need to remember, oh, I'm not of this world. I'm passing through. I'm sojourning. So we have to remember that we're positioned in Christ. That is where we are. That is where we live. That is where we are to stay. And so we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are here on assignment. We're fighting a spiritual battle. We can't fight it if we're conforming to the ways of the world. We can't fight against the enemy when we're partying with the enemy. So we have to realize, yes, the world is not going to like you. Yes, the world is going to hate us. 
Yes, because we're opposing the world. In order for us to preach the gospel and minister the truth, we have to oppose things that are a lie. So the things of this world are contrary to the things of the word. So the world has to hate us because everything that the world represents, we oppose it because the kingdom of God and this world where Satan is the God of this world are totally contrary, total opposites. And so the Bible reminds us that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We can't forget that we are passing through. Remember this, when you're feeling like you want to be conformed, when you're feeling pressure of the world to do certain things, remember you're just passing through. And so the Bible tells us in Colossians 3 and 2, set your affection on things above and not on earth. Remember, you're just passing through. The Bible tells us, you you know, uh, uh, that, you know, by not being of this world, we need to remember that the Bible was telling us we've been set apart. Gee, uh, God tells us, come out from amongst them and be ye separate. Touch not the unclean thing. Then he says, we'll be his children. He'll be our God. He'll be our father. Listen, that's when, you know, he's going to uh, accept us as his children. I mean, when we receive Jesus Christ, yes, we're adopted into God's family, but that means there's a change. There's a shift. We got to walk like it and act like it because we're just passing through. And so, remember this. When you feel like you're not fitting in, when you feel like people are opposing you, when you feel like there's something strange and weird about you, rejoice because the Bible says you're a peculiar people. And so we're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. We are just passing through. And so just remember that. And as you're going through your test, trials, tribulation, trouble, whatever your struggles and battles, remember you're in a spiritual battle. Put on your whole armor stand against the wiles of the devil. That is not the time to go get a drink or a drug. That's not the time to conform to the ways of this world. We are set apart. We are standing apart. We are on firm foundation, built on a rock. We are built. We are living stones. We are the building that Christ, that the word, that the Holy Spirit abides in. We are the temple of God. And so listen, you cannot conform to the ways of this world. Remember, you're not of it. You're just in it. You're just passing through. So rejoice today because whatever you're facing is temporary and whatever we're going through, we're going through it. And we're growing through it because we're not of this world. We're in it, but we're not of it. We're just passing through. So everything that we face is going to grow us if we do it God's way. We have to do it according to his word, led by his spirit, submitted to his commands, obedient to him. The Bible says, submit yourself, therefore, unto God. Resist the devil and he'll flee. And so listen, we're growing in the fruit of the spirit. We're here on assignment. Minister to somebody. Witness to somebody. Be a light to somebody. The salt to somebody. Be a vessel and an instrument in God's hands. Let them use you because you're on assignment. You're just passing through. Be effective while you're here. Turn the world upside down. Make a difference. Let your light dis dispel some darkness. Make some people uncomfortable. Move in your purpose. Use your gifts for God's glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that we remember that we're just passing through. I know that some have been attached to some material things. Some have been attached to some places and some habits and some hobbies. But Father, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, God, to detach ourselves from the things that detach us from you. Help us to be yielded vessels. Help us to be vessels and instruments that you work through for the uplifting of your kingdom. So, Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus, for your Holy Spirit leading, guiding, and directing us, anointing us, and giving us spiritual gifts, spiritual armor, spiritual weapons. We thank you that we are victorious and more than conquerors through him that loved us. We give you all the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget our wow movement, Watchmen on the Wall. We're intercessors that meet Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We pray, we intercede for one another, for those on our prayer wall, our prayer list, and our prayer line. So join us on Facebook Live. My name is Tony Brooke Brown, or if you are not on Facebook, you can call the number underneath this YouTube video, but please join us. We would love for you to be a part uh, as we are moving by faith, and we are moving mountains, and we are believing God for signs, wonders, and miracles. Also, don't forget to share this message with someone who may need to hear it. Share the gospel with someone who's unsaved. Minister to someone who's lost. Uh, reach a helping hand out to someone who's hurting. And don't forget, if you want to get notifications when I upload videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell so you can be notified so we can continue to grow together. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.